God bless you and greetings to you from God our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ our risen Lord and Savior um, I received this message on 2-4-2015 which is today February the 2nd 2015 and it goes as follows <clears throat> warn the people my son warn the people calamity is about to hit the, the land and many of my people are sleeping. It is time for my plan to unfold. It is time. Behold, I send calamity and death and destruction upon the nations of the world. Is anyone paying attention? Is anyone awake? Your enemies are my enemies, says the Lord. We are supposed to be fighting the same enemy, and yet some of my children continue to fight each other. Unity, unity. We fight much more effectively when my children, my people, fight side by side, not against each other. Continue to get your affairs in order. Continue to reach out to the unsaved, backslidden, and sinners among my people. Repent, repent, repent. Put off the world and its lifestyle and its deceitfulness and put on the mind of Christ, Yahushua, and the whole armor of God. Blow the trumpet. Sound the alarm. The bridegroom is coming. The bridegroom is coming. Are you ready to meet him? Wake up, bridesmaids. Wake up, friends of the groom. For his wedding party approaches. Can you hear its sound in the distance? Getting louder and louder as it approaches? The bridegroom and his wedding party are approaching the clouds to meet the bride and her wedding party in the air. Until this moment in time occurs, and it is rapidly approaching, I need my faithful bride and her wedding party to stand faithfully for me, to continue to reach out to the lost and those who have lost their way, reach out to the persecuted of my children, that they might find safety and rest. To the families of my faithful martyrs, letting them know that their loved ones will not be forgotten of me, and I shall reward them greatly. To those who feel trapped by Satan, I can and will forgive you if you with a repentant heart seek me with genuine sorrow and regret. Yahushua can and does save to the uttermost. But you must renounce his and his evil ones and seek me out with all of your heart, and I can and will find you. Seek out the various government workers who feel trapped in their jobs. I can and will deliver them if they seek me out. The catastrophe from outer space is on its way and about to strike, in addition to earthquakes, sinkholes, extreme weather, droughts in some places, floods in other places, war, civil war, a time of great unrest in all of the lands. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Soon the times of trouble will be upon you. Grow closer to me, my children. Come underneath my sheltering wing where there is peace and safety and protection. Those watchmen and messengers who are sounding the alarm continue. I am sending more watchmen to the wall, and the few voices will become many. The enemy, in concert with the evil scientists, are learning how to break down the walls of separation I made so many years ago to separate the evil traps, spirits, and demons, and fallen ones, etc., and they are escaping to your world almost daily. They don't fully know it yet, but even this is part of my plan of the ages. I am the great I am, and nothing gets by me. Nothing surprises me. While the enemy is getting reinforcements, I am sending my own angelic reinforcements as well. All things are converging on the earth as I planned it. I shall once again be known and feared by all the nations upon the earth, and I will again demonstrate to my creation why I am the Most High, and there is none other like me anywhere. 
to my little ones, have no fear if you love me, come unto me where there is peace and safety. To my lost Adams, I am calling you back to me, perhaps for the last time in your life. Come unto Jesus, Yehoshua HaMashiach, before time runs out for you. There is no other way. Only by him can you be saved. To my watchmen and messengers, continue standing at your posts. Continue to cry out aloud to my faithful broad, excuse me, continue to cry out aloud. To my faithful bride, continue in holiness, continue to serve me as I command you. <clears throat> you shall be with, let me say that again, sorry about that. <clears throat> to my faithful bride, continue in holiness. Continue to serve me as I command, and you shall be with me soon, my beloved. I will come and rescue you from this awful place that earth has become, and for you to be by my side. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man comes. Pray that you be accounted worthy to escape all these things, and to stand before the Son of Man. I love you, my children, I love you. My arms are open wide to receive you unto myself. I love you. Okay, <clears throat> that's the message I received today. Um, I put my get ready hat back on because uh, I don't know how much time we have. Um, but it would appear to me that uh, things are accelerating. And um, many of the watchmen are sounding the alarms. The the um, the enemies of our Heavenly Father and our Lord Jesus Christ are ramping up their evil uh, as we speak. So I don't know how much time we have. You know, people ask me, you know, how long we got. I don't know. When he says I come quickly, what does that mean? He comes quickly. When he says I'm coming soon, what does that mean? I'm coming soon. Um, when he says get ready, what does he mean? Get ready. Um, <laughs> When he says there's none other like him, what does that mean? There's no one other like him. Uh, I just take him at face value at what he says. I don't try to um, put my own twist or spin on the words. I just try to tell you as honestly as I can uh, what he has asked me to share with you. Um, Things are just happening. Um, they continue to happen. Um, <clears throat> boy, I don't, I, you know, there's a lot I could say, but I don't want to put my opinion in here uh, too much. Um, other than uh, just pay attention to what's going on around you. One day, one day soon, things are going to change dramatically. Um, and if you're awake and you're ready and you're prepared, then you'll know what to do when this catastrophe hits, whatever it is from outer space. If you're not paying attention, if you're sleeping, if you're in the world, you're going to get caught flat-footed and you're not going to know what to do. And it's going to be an awful time for you. So I recommend to the people that follow uh, the watchmen, sounding the alarms, etc., even if your family and friends aren't hearing you now, uh, when this catastrophe hits, they're going to be wanting answers. Uh, and when the evil that is slated to hit the lands of the world, not just America, but other countries as well, um, they're going to be, you're going to be the one with the answers. Um, just like uh, you study for a college exam or you study for a test in school, so that when a situation comes up, somebody asks you a question, you know what the answer is because you've done your homework. So I encourage you all to do your homework. Get in the prayer closet daily with the Lord. Develop a relationship with Him. 
keep your eyes and ears open, study the written word, fellowship with like-minded believers if you can find them anywhere. If not, you know, you might have to do it via the internet or some other way, but uh, try to get with like-minded people if you can. I know that uh, Susan Davis is planning another prophecy conference, the Lord willing, and we're all still here, um, in June. I think it's June 12th through the 14th this year, same place as it was last year. So if you can begin to count your pennies and scrape them together uh, and make it, it's a great time for all. Um, I think it's going to be a little longer this year than last year. Um, she's trying to get better hotel rates and things like that with um, the plans that she and Donna are making, uh, Donna McDonald, um, they're wonderful people. They really love the Lord, and they're, they're trying to uh, do His will and His bidding. So if we're still here uh, during that period of time, then um, I would encourage you to uh, take it before the Lord and ask Him if you're uh, going to you know, need to go or not. You know, That's between you and the Lord. Um, uh, you know, the number of revelations or the, the words that I get uh, may uh, increase or decrease, but he usually works it with his other watchmen and me and, and others to try to get the body of Christ and the bride informed. Some people may get a few more uh, words more often than others but it's all in the Lord's timing and it's all according to his plan. Um, he hasn't forgotten me and I certainly have not forgotten him. Um, we just need to uh, uh, do our best to seek him out wherever he can be found and to share him and to serve him and love him. Um, some people, uh, I think God's Healer 7, if you've heard of them, They've got a YouTube channel, and they're going back and re-posting all of their old videos they've had for the last four years. So uh, apparently the Lord told them to do that. Uh, you know, again, I don't really, you know, have a lot to do with those guys other than I do subscribe to their channel, and I do enjoy the messages they bring forth. Um, but that's a, just a totally different deal they got going on over there than what going on over here versus what's going on somewhere else uh, <clears throat> so I love you guys uh, seek out the Lord with all of your heart soul mind and strength treat your neighbor love your neighbor as you love yourself um, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy um, remember uh, to study his his written word so that you can understand the mind of God and the mind of Christ. Remember that Jesus, or Yahushua, was the Word in the flesh. He was the walking, living, breathing, talking Word of God. So if you want to know how He thinks, and if you want to know if you're hearing from Him, uh, you know, the written Word's a good place to start. Um, but then uh, He's not limited to the written Word either, but it's a, it's a good starting point. Um, but I highly recommend you seek them out with all of your heart and ask them to speak with you and then uh, allow them to speak. So much of the time people say, I want to hear from the Lord, you know, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You know, we're in a push button society. Everybody's in a hurry for everything. And the Lord will not be forced into anything. Um, you know, he's, he's the boss, you know, he's the general and you're the private, so to speak. You're... Uh, part of the body, um, you are subserving it to him. He, you know, he's the master. You're the servant. And the servant doesn't tell the master what to do and hurry up because I'm, you know, hurry up and talk to me because I'm in a hurry. I got to go to a ball game tonight. That that doesn't bode well. So I encourage you. Um, remember who you're dealing with and who you're talking with. The Creator of the heavens and the earth and His only begotten Son. There is no higher rank in the universe than that. Um, so I suggest that you approach them with reverence, awe, respect, humility. That's what they expect. 
uh, and be patient. Uh, some some people, you know, say they're going to the Lord, they're not hearing from Him. Well, just be patient and keep going. Um, ask Him to remove any blocks there may be, or any uh, barriers that may be between you and Him, uh, and just stay after it, and He will talk to you. Because He loves talking to us. He just loves it. Yeah, he, he just absolutely loves it. So, I'm getting along. I'm sorry. I love you guys. Y'all bless you. Until next time.